In this video we're going to extend the ideas of proportions, one and two proportions, and take a look at the notion of risk. So we'll first start with a proportion. Here we have 1,000 customers. After a month, 274 have churned or left. And so we have 274 out of 1,000, or a proportion have left of 0.274. Now let's say we have two samples. So of those 1,000 customers, 266 have basic service and 734 have additional services beyond the basic services. So we really have two groups now for, for which we could compute proportions. So in the basic group, we had 266, 83 of them left. That's 0.312 or about 31 percent. For those with additional services, we have 734 total, and of those, 191 have left, so that gives us about 0.2602 or 26 percent who have left in that one month time period. So now we have two proportions. The difference between those two proportions is just called the risk difference. So one group had a churn rate of 0.31, the other of 0.26. That's a difference of 5%. So the churn rate is 5% higher for those who are subscribing to the basic service than those who subscribe to additional services. You can also get what's called relative risk or the risk ratio. So we have the 0.31, that's the risk or the proportion who churn for those with basic services divided by the same thing for those with additional services. So we get 1.19. So that means that a customer with basic services is 1.19 times as likely to leave as someone who has the additional service. So we can look here at, again, risk difference. That was just the difference between the two proportions and relative risk, which was one divided by the other. They're always going to run, move in the same direction. They're both reduction in churn. But one of those, the risk difference, is at the whole population level. So that's of everybody. If we had 100,000 customers and there's a difference of 5%, we would expect 500 fewer lost if they had the additional service plan uh, that went beyond the basic. And same for 500,000, except for 5% of that is 25,000. Whereas the relative risk is on the individual level for each person, the risk that a customer with basic services will churn is 1.19 times the risk of a customer with additional services. Of course, you can take the opposite of that and say the risk with additional services is 0.81 times the risk of someone with basic services. Again, this is on the individual level and then the risk difference on the level of the population.